back again cooking with Sue. So I already have my apple crisp in the oven and I've set up here to show you how to make twice baked potato bites. So you're gonna buy the small, they're called number two red potatoes. They're the small like one inch version and take a professional knife when you're cutting something that's round you want to make sure that you make a bridge with your hand like this and then you put the knife in between so it's safe cutting and you're going to cut your potatoes in half and you're going to want to use what's called a core and more so one side will um it's got little pokies on it and it'll scrape out your um squash and take the eyes off of potatoes it'll take the tops off of um, strawberries for you so you don't lose a lot of strawberries but we're gonna be using the other side, the coring side, and it's super sharp, so you gotta be really careful when you're using it. Um, and you just go around in a circle, and you're gonna just hollow out a little hole, because we're gonna be filling these with um, mayonnaise, sour cream, and I just found some, um, I found sour cream that's lactose-free, I'm so excited, so I'm gonna be using that for all of my dips today. Um, I'm sure nobody will be able to tell, but it'll make my tummy feel happier because I miss all of those yummy uh, uh, dips that have cream cheese and sour cream and all that good stuff. So we are going to just core out a bunch of these potatoes like this. Again, just a little scoop. And then when I'm done doing all of them, because i got a ton to do, so I just want to show you how it works so you guys aren't with me for an hour. Um, not that it'll take an hour, but you're going to use your kitchen spritzer here, and you're going to tighten the cover, and you're going to pump your own air in, because you do not want to use Pam Spray on Pampered Chef cookware or stoneware, because it creates a gummy, filmy buildup, and it's so bad for you. Thanks, Abigail. Thumbs up to us, too. So then you're going to spray your potatoes with your kitchen spritzer. And by the way, when you're done your kitchen spritzer, listen for this. You got to burp it. All right. That's how it doesn't get clogged. And then you're going to want to buy three onion rub. This is amazing stuff. And we're going to sprinkle three onion rub all over our potatoes. We're going to give it a good coating. So I'm going to do all of my potatoes and then I'm going to microwave the potatoes just like this in this ridged baker. So this ridged baker could be used for cooking apples or chicken or bacon or anything really that you don't want the water, your food sitting in the water or the grease. And so I'm gonna microwave this nine to 12 minutes and it's going to soften the potatoes and mostly cook them. So I'm gonna have all of that done before Super Bowl. Then I'm going to mix up in my batter bowl my filling. So glass batter bowl, love these, has a lid, it's um, dishwasher safe and glass so it can go in the oven if you're baking. And so I'm doubling the inside of this recipe because um, I'm making a lot of potatoes for tonight's game. So the measure all cups measure in teaspoons and tablespoons as well as, you know, quarter cup all the way to one cup, two cup. So I need six tablespoons of sour cream so you can just go ahead and plop that in. What I love about um, this, by the way, is that um, you know exactly if you've gotten the right amount and it's not hard to get it in and out of the measuring cup. It scrapes the sides right up. Then we're gonna do same thing, six tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then we're going to grate some fresh Parmesan cheese. So I always recommend you buy Parm in a block. It just tastes so much different if you grate your own Parmesan cheese. And for those um, of you out there that have not figured out how to make this bend and move, you put it in your right hand with the blade facing away from you. You put your thumb on the side and then you're doing this. You're milking the cow. That's the movement. The handle is spring loaded. It'll spring load over and it'll go to one setting and then it'll go to a locked position. Okay. Or you can just open it up uh, full and then just grate directly on top of your spaghetti or whatever you're grating. But if you want to grate it like an old box grater, you can just stick it like this and grate down through. There is a safety guard. I'll show you what that looks like. For when, for when you get to the end of your Parmesan cheese or maybe you're doing walnuts or chocolate chips, you slide the safety guard um, over the end here. I almost put cheese in my coffee mug. 
and then you put your last piece of cheese right in there and then there are prongs here so if it's cheese soft cheese like mozzarella or something you can just stick it on here and then grate without your fingers getting close to the grating blade but when you're using the full piece of parmesan cheese you don't have to worry about that because you can just keep grating until you get to the end but um we have a coarse and a fine grater and the fine grater is perfect for zesting your citrus it's good for the parmesan or the harder cheeses mine just happens to be out in my kit because i did a show yesterday and i didn't feel like running out there and getting it and i have two of these so i figured i'd coarsely grate my parmesan either way it's going to melt when i microwave it and then um you can put this in the dishwasher so you know those old box graters you had to stick your hand up inside to clean what a pain those are right so this is dishwasher safe just open it up stick it in the top shelf of your dishwasher and you'll be good to go so i'm going to microwave my potatoes have them all ready before the guests get here i'm going to have my filling all ready i'm going to stuff it then i'm going to put bacon and green onions on top of that and i'll post the recipe as well underneath this um, but that's recipe number two now i've already made a touchdown taco dip which i will post uh it's always yummy um, and I made chili yesterday, so I've got quite a few recipes. If I keep cooking, <laughs> I will keep videoing. My husband's like, you're cooking for too much, but I can't help it. Um, he jokes that he, he needs to invite people over more often because then I actually cook. So, um, or at least cook for him. So it was nice seeing you all. I hope you guys have a great Super Bowl Sunday. And if you need recipes, www.pamperedchef.biz, B-I-Z, slash, Sue's cooking s-u-e-s-c-o-o-k-i-n anything you need all the recipes that i'm mentioning here are on my website hope you have a great night